about what I listen to when I study. Of the foregut, midgut, and hindgut. And Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of MedHead. We are in the 15th week of medical school. It's hard to believe we have three full hands. We can count as in weeks for medical school. I am currently running a little late to my anatomy lab this section, but I just wanted to check in with you guys in the beginning. Gotta grab this, um, my mask, and we gotta get going because I am running late. I'll see you guys there. Oh my gosh, this anatomy lab was so cool. I know I didn't sound that enthusiastic on the last video. It's probably because it's actually pretty quiet in the school and I didn't want to disturb anybody's studies, but I will see you guys back home and I will let you know about the several rewarding experiences I had in this one lab today. Probably one of the best labs and one of my favorite labs I've had yet. All right, so on to that super cool dissection. So I showed up today and I actually had a partner, which was already 10 times better than every time I have gone into the lab. And today we did some more abdominal structures. And abdominal structures, if you guys didn't know, are um, a lot of the times more large and they're easier to clearly see structures. So that made it a good lab to start off with. And to go back on top of that, I had seen all these structures in college. So it was a, a good learning experience for me to kind of cement what I really know about the abdominal cavity in that area. If you guys are familiar with the abdominal cavity, we kind of messed with what's around the stomach and the duodenal or duodenal area, whichever you want to say pancreas, small intestines, a lot of the large intestines, transverse colon, a lot of that stuff. Um, I'll probably put a picture somewhere up here so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but a lot of those structures, we didn't really mess with anything in the area below the sigmoid colon in the rectum. And we really didn't mess with anything kind of behind the small intestine. So we left the kidneys alone because that's for the next lab. But it was a lot of fun. And the biggest, most interesting part, the inferior vena cava was on the exact opposite side it should have been on. Um, it was flipped. And if you guys kind of know the anatomy, I'll also put that up here if you don't. A bunch of the PhDs and lab techs and the professors for anatomy rushed over and kind of <laughs> were trying to figure out why it could have been. They called over the other anatomy embryology professor to try to figure out and she said she had never seen it before. So I don't, I really don't know why that was. I didn't notice it myself. Um, we were getting some help from the head anatomist and he saw that but that's good to know for later dissections when we get further down so that we aren't super confused why things are coming from the wrong places but really fun dissection and I am glad I got to go in today on this specific day and now for the rest of the day I'm gonna finish some microbiology lectures we actually started at microbio today with the introduction of bacteria and I'll show you guys it's a <laughs> it's a two-hour lecture and it's trying to get the big bulk of bacteria down so that when we get to the specifics of it, we've already seen the basics, but the basics have been condensed into basically a two hour lecture um, with a couple of slides. So I said I would show you uh, the two hour lecture. Lots of slides and uh, not a lot of time, but he did teach it really well and he did condense it as much as possible. Um, and you kind of do have to fly through it because this is just an overview, but I made some quick sheets that I basically wanted to summarize this information with. Good morning guys or whatever's left of the morning. I woke up fairly early um, But I have been moving kind of slow today. It picked up speed eventually around 9 um, But I decided to start with Anki first today and to start off with some reviews So all of the review cards the due cards and the new cards from the past lectures and now I'm gonna watch the three lectures we have due today. Um, those three lectures are pretty relevant for what's going on in this block so we have some GI development 
learning how the embryology plays into foregut, midgut, and hindgut development and its innervation and arterial supply. And then also we have immunology lectures over the basics. So we're starting the types of immunologic cells that we're going to see. Yesterday we had a big like overview of all the immunology we're going to kind of touch bases on and we're going to start going deeper in each concept that we covered yesterday. And then we have a lecture on virulence factors of bacteria. It's a microbiology lecture. So basically just learning about what makes us sick? Why do bacteria make us sick? And a lot of the times it's not the actual bacteria itself that makes us sick, but the toxins it releases. And so we're gonna learn about um, the mechanism of the toxin release, the different types of toxin releases and the complications of those details. So pretty excited for that lecture actually, because it's um, a pretty important basis of a lot of the times what brings patients into the office. Toxins are, and will probably always be a problem in medicine. So um, pretty important lecture, pretty excited for that. And to start off, I'm gonna get the GI lecture out of the way. But today is looking up, it's before noon and I have all the due and new cards from yesterday done with Anki. So the rest of the day are just gonna be cards from today's lectures. And I also have a peer teaching lab for abdomen three. So basically the lab I dissected in yesterday. And it'll be nice because I went and dissected actually for this lab. Guys, what is this? Hold on. I don't think you guys can see me as well because the blinds aren't open. I actually got through a development lecture and actually pretty much enjoyed all of it. That's weird. But we basically just talked about what I told you guys. We would go over kind of the development um, of the foregut, midgut, and hindgut and some of the um, disorders that can happen with it. So I have two lectures left. I do feel like I'm missing something. I do probably need to get a little bit more ahead because apparently... I was informed that next week we have lots to do. Um, so I need to get ahead because I actually am probably going to relax this weekend. But before I do those two lectures, I'm gonna go ahead and take Dolly out, get a breath of fresh air. Are you ready to go out? Outside? <laughs> and then after that, we're gonna come back, do an immuno lecture, and then I'll probably make some dumplings. I'm kind of hungry. common congenital anomaly of the GI tract, uh, macrodiverticulum. Uh, what is the most common cause of gastric outlet obstruction in infants, um, pyloric stenosis? What embryological structure develops into the spleen? Pretty sure it's just the mesoderm or mesoderm. guys so it is about 11 o'clock last night I actually did not end up doing microbio because I decided to get um, the 8 a.m. class we have this morning out of the way early it was a histology lecture over the integumentary um, and that system so your skin hair nails sebaceous glands sweat glands all the things that make up your integument and um, histology of that and so I made sure to just get that out of the way last night so I ended up not really doing any microbio but that's gonna start now I finished all of my um, news and do's from past lectures and I'm gonna quickly go through the lecture, make sure I have everything in line for all the bacteria sketchy videos I need to watch. And then I'm gonna start watching those microbio videos. With that being said, I do have lots to do today. I do have an appointment for my wisdom teeth. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I was in the dentist's office about a few weeks ago and the wisdom teeth are gonna have to come out. And so I'm going to a consultation today um, to figure out how we're gonna go about that. And I just have so many other school related things I have to do and just some random errands I have to run. So I really have to <laughs> crack down for these next few hours oh i also wanted to show you guys this really cool shirt i got from my snma um org at mcgovern diversifying the face of medicine that was a pretty cool shirt although rare tumors can develop from the same tissues that surround an impacted tooth requiring and spreads to neighboring teeth all right guys i'm back from the dentist's office dolly seems pretty excited are you excited? Are you excited? Dolly's excited to see me. <laughs> and um, yeah, all four is gonna have to be removed, all four of my wisdom teeth. 
Probably do that around Thanksgiving break because the recovery time apparently is up to three days. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I am super excited. Look, I have, where's it at? Where's it at? Right there. 100 day streak. It's my 100 day anniversary or whatever you want to call it. Alrighty guys, it's Thursday. As you guys can see this morning, I got the tea instead of the usual coffee. Alright, as you guys can see in the last clip, I have about 16 new cards left, but those are histology cards that are messed up and I have to go back and fix them. So that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, so I'm not going to do that right now, but for the most part, I did finish most of what I wanted to get done. Um, about 400 something cards, I forgot how many they were, but those were just the do's and the news from past lectures, and I still have three lectures I need to do from today. But first, I should probably cut my hair before it gets too late because I always put it off and then end up just wearing hats forever. All right, just finished the innate immunity lecture, and now I'm gonna head over to the coffee shop to get some more studying done. Alright guys, it's Friday and we just had a TBL like every Friday over COVID-19 and which is very interesting. I did notice in the last video someone saw that I didn't change my October calendar to November yet and we're already almost like two weeks in. Um, so I probably need to change that. I am kind of one of those people that don't change calendars until like three weeks in so I do need to do that. <laughs> Well, on that note, I am going to be just doing Anki for the rest of the day. I decided to take an early leave from studying today just to give myself kind of a break because I did do a lot of work this week. I do have a Spotify link down below. A lot of you have asked about what I listen to when I study, and a lot of the times it's either this playlist I'm going to give to you guys in the description below, or it is just some coffee shop sounds, some nature white noise sounds. Um, but a lot of times I listen to what's in the playlist below. I spent about four years making this playlist. I started making it in college and it, it really picked up around the time I started studying for the MCAT. So this is what I've listened to. So this playlist is 